Good morning, everybody. Sylvie Fillion, also known as the Proficient Realtor. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video because uh, I did mention to some people that I was going to do um, a video about working out. I have the worst reputation <laughs> for working out. But this year, there has been some health issues and challenges. And I have had the I didn't have the choice really to really look at what I'm doing as far as health goes so working out and eating habits as well and I've really had to do some changes in my life um, it's been many years of not working out and poor poor eating habits that uh, that has given me some some health challenges this year so so we start, I'm starting off with working out. I've been working out now for about six to eight weeks, I guess, straight. Um, and I am actually, actually uh, loving it. Um, I've, I've never liked working out. Um, and I think that the, the trick this time is that I've reduced my workouts to basically like 20 minutes or so. I can't make an excuse for 20 minutes, seriously. I can find numerous excuses if you're gonna have me in the gym for like half an hour, 45 minutes, absolutely. I'm like, I'm too busy. I got emails, I got phone calls, I gotta, I gotta put on a, a, a topper for a, a sign. <laughs> I'll find you an excuse, I swear. Um, so I find that 20 minutes is really good. And what I do is I basically do one exercise per muscle group. So I'll do shoulders, I'll do chest, I'll do back, I'll do uh, biceps and triceps, and that's it. That's my workout. Um, and then I do the same thing for when I'm doing lower body as well. I'm going to look at my book too. Um, so I do abs, quads, lower back, hamstrings, and calves, yes. Um, so anyways, today I'm doing the upper body, uh, but I find that it's, it's just so much easier. And something else that I don't like about working out is the pain that you feel the next day. The pain, I hate it, right? It's awful. Who wants to have a hard time going up and down the stairs? Nobody does. So we have a, um, a pretty good, let me just show you over here. This little gadget here, I love this machine because this gives me the opportunity. See how like the weight goes up in 10, um, 10 increments, 10 pounds? Well, my husband bought... Um, these guys here, which are total game changer. This is five pounds. Okay. And I can slide this on top of the, 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 the weights over here. And then we have a, a 2.5. Hello. Right. So instead of jumping, like when I'm ready to go up and I find that my workouts are getting too easy, then I can just jump like 2.5. So instead of doing 10 to 20, I'll do 12.5 and then I'll do 15 and then I'll add both together to get my 17.5. Hello. Oh my God. Game changer. Right. So basically what I do is I'll do my workouts and then I'm going to rate them. So at the end of my sheet, I've got like an intense um, intensity level. So if I'm at a 10, that means that we're staying at that for, you know, until it's easier to do. If I get around to like an 8 or an 8.5, then I will increase the first rep. Okay. And I'll just go up 2.5 pounds every single time that I'm going up. I don't like to use free weights. I've never been a fan of them. I know they're great, but if I don't do something that I like, I'm not going to stick with it. So I rather use the machine and I know that my results are going to be slower by, you know, not wanting to feel the pain the next day. But you know what? I've been doing this now six to eight weeks, which is the longest that I've that I've gone with no personal trainer, no accountability person um, on my behind every morning. So this is strictly me doing this and, and I'm really, really loving it. So doing that, I find that uh, that has helped tremendously. So what I'll do is I'll increase the first rep 
And then when I'm feeling that I'm still like writing in the, my intensity column, um, that it's still like an eight or an eight of, uh, 8.5, then so I'm, it's, you know, it's easy enough. I can get through it, uh, pretty good. Then I'll increase the second rep and then I'll increase the, the, well, if this happens again, then I'm increasing the third rep. So then after I've done, you know, I went to, from like all tens to, uh, 12.5, 12.5, 12.5. Then the next time that I'm seeing all eights again in my intensity level, then I'll go to the first one again and I'll jump it up to 15. So it's very, very gradual. And you know what? I feel amazing. I feel great after I'm done my workout. I feel like it sets me up really, really well for the day. I'm not like kind of like sluggish, like around noon-ish or the afternoon. I don't feel like I want to go for a nap. I find that I have more energy and I am more like I'm happier as well. Um, so that has really done the trick. So if anybody hates working out like I used to, shorten down your workouts and I mean, obviously not everybody has this equipment, but if you're able to find something that will slowly um, increase your weight instead of having to jump from like 10 to 20, um, I find that it has made a big, big difference. And instead of like when you're going up in weight from like 10 to, to 20, let's say if you don't have these, you know, the, the, the 2.5 and the 5 pound to add, um, don't do all of the, like the three reps, you know what I mean? Like start with the first rep and increase that one. And then when you're starting to feel comfortable, then increase the second one, then increase the third one. Don't change tens all to like twenties, like the next workout, because it's, you might end up being, you know, in, in a lot of pain. I mean, if that's what you're, if you're wanting to see results quicker, then absolutely. But I'm just, this is what's working for me. There's no right or wrong, obviously, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to share you some of the tricks that I've used in order to motivate myself this time. And well, it's not even motivating. It's, it's, it's actually uh, pleasant to work out. So I'm definitely going to be sticking with this. And now we're going to be tackling this week and uh, following weeks, I'm tackling the, uh, the food side of things. So doing one change at a time, obviously, right? I wanted to start with a workout because I know that working out is easier, I guess. I have a, uh, a sugar addiction, um, so I've been battling that for a long time. And uh, that one there is going to be very difficult to kick to the curb. So I wanted to start with something easier. And then, and oh, another thing, the mindset. My mindset, I find that um, I am not working out to lose weight. I mean, if I lose weight, that will be great, but I am working out to get a stronger body. So to be stronger and healthier. And I find that that because of that, that I'm not jumping on the scale every single week and checking to see if I lost a pound or so. I find that that's just basically has lifted my, like a lot of weight off of my shoulders. It's not like it's, um, Every day, I know that I'm getting stronger because I see my my weight increasing. So it's gratifying right there, and I am it's increasing. So I know I'm doing a great job because I'm doing a lot higher weight, um, you know, than when I first started. So, anyways, that's I, I find that that having like the different mindset this time because it's always been oh I'm gonna you know do weights and work out to to lose weight and. Uh, and I'm not doing that this time. If the weight comes off, then bonus. But I am doing this to get a stronger, healthier body. So I think that's about it as far as what I'm doing. That's the that's the the little tricks that I've done this time around. And it's really, really working out for me. So I just wanted to share it with someone else. If I can help one person out there, I've done a great job. <laughs> But it's, uh, no, but it's, you know, not everybody likes to work out. It's, um, so I'm hoping, you know, over time that I will maybe add more, um, like maybe a couple of extra, um, uh, muscle groups to, to work out. So maybe I'll extend my workouts from 20 minutes to like 25 minutes to half an hour to 35 to 45. Um, maybe I'll get there, but for now I'm still very happy with the 20 minutes. Have a great day, everyone, and if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, 
and uh, don't be afraid to comment. I, uh, I would love to actually hear some of the tricks that you guys are using in order to, uh, to stay on top of the, uh, the workouts. Have a great day. Bye.